Hey everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to replace sky without getting that nasty f white fringe around leaves and trees and stuff along those lines. So the first thing that you want to do is open up your Photoshop and make sure you have the right layers in there. Uh, obviously you need a sky, you need the layer of the house or whatever layer you have there. Um, with the sky, you need to make sure that the sky is at least the same size as the sky in your image because you don't want to do any stretching or anything like that because you do too much of that and it distorts everything um, okay so the next thing you want to do is right click on the layer your image layer and go to duplicate layer doesn't matter what you call it just duplicate it and then turn it off from this point you want to go over and you want to mask out the entire house basically anything that has sky behind it you want it gone. Uh, so go to your magnet tool, your lasso tool, whatever tool you want to do. I'm going to use a magnet tool and do it real quick, but you want to be more precise when you do it. And just basically mask out the house here. Um, as you can see, I'm starting below the where, where the sky goes through the trees. You don't want that part in there. So just get the house, go around. Um, like I said, I'm doing it pretty quick. You know, you want to be more precise when you're doing this. And like here, you scroll down to the house and like, okay, now I'm below where the light comes through the trees. So now I can just go and wrap around the whole rest of the house. It's not a big deal. From this point, you know, I'm just going to go in and, you know, get the quick select tool and just kind of fill in where the magnet tool messed up a little bit just to make it look a little bit better. Now we click on, make sure the layer that is, you know, visible is the one you're selecting and then mask it. Um, as you can see, you know, it'll just punch in the sky and you're like, oh, what's going on? No big deal. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's supposed to do this. Now I'll go back to the top layer that you had hidden and make it visible. Okay. Now we're back to normal. And again, you're like, what's going on? Um, don't worry about it. Click on that top layer, right click it go to the blending options. At the bottom here where it says blend if gray, change it to blue. And now on this first slider, start sliding it to the left. And as soon as you do that, you're gonna start seeing the sky bleed in. This is from what you had masked out. So now it's gonna start bleeding in. You wanna bring it over, bring it over, bring it over um, until you start losing the trees. Um, once you get to that point, bring it back a little bit um, and you're gonna see like, oh man, I have all this white around like the edges. That's fringe, you don't want it. Hit Alt and click on that little tab there. Once you do that, you can take that left thing, the left tab and bring that out a little bit. And when you're doing that, you will be able to start seeing the fringe going away. As you can see here, it starts going away, starts going away, starts going away. I mean, this isn't perfect. I mean, when you do it, you can make it as awesome or as good as you want. Um, do some adjustments, try to make it blend in with the image, you know, lighten it, darken it, whatever makes it look good for that particular image. Um, you know, I'm messing around with levels, you can do it with curves, whatever you want to do. Uh, okay, I think this is pretty good, and uh, once you're done, that's it, man, you're, you're good to go. So now you know how to replace guys without fringe. Take care.